Amen. Peace be unto you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I greet you all with the peace that passes all understanding. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is day three of our 40 days and 40 nights. And we give God the glory for his strength and power in our lives in Jesus' name. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. So, uh, without wasting much time, let's go straight to the scripture of today because we know already the scripture of uh, this particular fasting and the theme that says uh, entering into the fullness of God. And we look into the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 9 and 10. Amen. So the scripture of today is taken from the book of Mark chapter 11. The book of Mark chapter 11, I will read from uh, verse 22. Hallelujah. And the Lord will bless his word in our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, 22 says, the book of Mark, chapter 11, verse 22, it says, uh, And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Verse 25 and 26 says, and when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, forgive. That your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive you your trespasses. Ah, these are the words of Jesus Christ and they are very powerful they go out with authority very powerful ah he say have faith in God hallelujah that we should have faith in God I pray for you and I that God will increase our faith in him and in his word in his works, in his miracles, signs and wonders in Jesus' name. I also pray that God, oh I pray, that he remove every doubt in our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus. I also pray that God Almighty helps our hearts to forgive others their trespasses that we may obtain forgiveness from him forgiveness of our sins from him in jesus name amen uh, let's look uh into verse uh, 24 it's very powerful very powerful he said that therefore i say unto you whatsoever ye desire when ye pray believe that he receive them and he shall have them that when we pray we should believe that we already have received them we should see ourselves in that dimension we should see ourselves in that realm that we are even enjoying whatsoever that we desire to have from the Lord hallelujah and we shall receive them may the Lord give us that grace that faith that belief and may he remove every doubt because he said that anyone that pray 
and believe and have no doubt. Amen. May every doubt in our hearts be removed in Jesus' name. Amen. So the prayer points for today are that you can be praying with your family for yourselves as you fast because today is day three. It says, Oh God, my Father, give me grace to study the scriptures. It's important that we study the scriptures so that we can walk out our salvation with fear and trembling. We need to study the scripture so that we can study to show ourselves proved before God. It is important that we study the scripture to avoid being deceived, to avoid following false doctrines. Hallelujah. Because there are many false prophets and false teachers that the devil has raised in this end time. It's worse than the olden times, so we should be aware. That's why we need to study the scripture for ourselves. Amen. Uh, I wanted to say verse 2. The scripture number 2 says, oh no, not scripture, but uh, prayer point number 2 says, Oh God, my Father, grant me deep understanding to your word in Jesus' name. Oh God, my Father, grant me a deep understanding to your word. In Jesus name it's important that when we study the scripture because it's not easy to understand when we just study in the flesh and if we study in the flesh it is theology or so those that go to Bible school they will just get they will not receive the revelation and understanding it. it's just theology what they have learned in Bible school they will now try to put it in their own view in the view of man instead of understanding and revelation from the Holy Ghost. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. So that's the prayer point. And prayer point number three says, Oh God, my Heavenly Father, change and transform my life as I fast and pray for Jesus' sake. In these 40 days and 40 nights, we need to be changed and transformed by, by God. So the prayer point says, Oh God, my Father, Oh God, my Heavenly Father, change and transform my life as I fast and pray. For Jesus' sake, amen. As we fast and pray, may the Lord God Almighty reveal himself deeply to us and help us to make it to heaven and to enjoy his glory, the fullness of his glory as we wait for the arrival of Jesus.